All right, so pretty easy video today. We're going to take a look at jailbreaking your PlayStation 3 using the PS3 exploit online hack. Uh, it's a hell of a lot easier than it used to be, and it's pretty straightforward. It's hard to mess up, but there's always that chance. So I figured I'd make a video because I've been asked quite a few times to do one. Um, so first things first, you want to make sure you have the right minimum firmware on your console. If you have a PlayStation 3 fat, you really won't have to worry about this. There's no point in even uh, checking unless, of course, you sent your console into Sony to do a repair. So it's always a good idea to check it. Um, what you're going to need is a flash drive and minimum version check, which is like a fake update. So drag and drop it into the root of your USB, create a folder, update, all caps, another folder, PS3, all caps. So drag the update into the update folder, drag update into PS3, and we are ready to go. Unplug it, plug it into the right most port of your console. Close out of that, we'll open up this. And then we go over to the system update section. Update via storage media. This should be 1.90. Yep, 1.90 because it is a G01 console. If you've got like an A01 and even I think E01s are 1.0. Um, anything else you're going to start getting higher, but do not do it if your console says 3.56 or higher. In that case you will need to do the homebrew enabler exploit which we might get to that in a later video. I need to fix this super slim PS3 that I have and then uh, we can go about doing that. So make sure your console is connected to the internet. Do not log into PSN. So one thing I gotta do here, because this flash drive that I use exclusively for updates is only like 247 megabytes. So I'm gonna delete that. Because I do have a NAND console here, it's gonna take a lot longer to load when we do this exploit because I have a 239 megabyte dump to pull out. Um, usually it's a little higher if you use a uh, flasher because it accounts for the bootloader but PS3 exploit does not do that so internet browser hit the start button clear all of this using the square button now I've already been here once to make sure that my internet was working properly so it saves me a little bit of time so flash dumper we're not really going to use that right this very second we're going to just head over to flash writer run the plugin, add that to bookmarks. Once you hear it beep at you three times, you know that the tool set is ready. So, click on Flash Memory Manager with X. It's going to extract the data, take a couple seconds. So head on down to Flash Memory. So as you can see here, Two hundred fifty-six megabytes. It's a NAND. A NOR is going to be sixteen. It is going to be considerably faster than this. Flash memory. Press X. Save flash memory backup to your USB, and then come on up and hit save. So this is going to take a little bit of time. Um, once it is done, it will pop up and it will tell you that it is done. It will also update you on the size. So if you have a NOR, you would probably be done by now because 16 megabytes compared to the size of a NAND, it's, it's quite a bit of difference. So this is also a lot quicker uh, you were trying to use the legacy tool set 
which if you are at a, I believe it's 4.10 is where that starts. So um, if you're below that, I mean at 3.55 you can install really whatever you want. But other than that, this one is on 4.82, which I'm going to probably install a 4.82 firmware just so I can get the DEX debugging firmware for this console. Otherwise, everything else is the same. I mean, if you're on 4.86, it's going to be the exact same process. Um, 4.87 as well, although I don't know what happened to Team Rebug. Their website has been down for some time now. But EvilNat has released a firmware for 4.87. Uh, so if you are on 4.87, I will link his firmware in the description of this video. But it is the same process. It's the same concept for, for everything. Um, just different firmware numbers, and you'll be installing a different firmware. Hundred and sixty megabytes down, hundred and seventy six now. So while we're waiting on that, I'm just gonna minimize this here for a second. You're gonna want to download PS3 dump checker. I will link two different ones. If you're on a NAND model, which I am here, you'll want the version I'm gonna be using here. If you're on a NOR model, um, I will list the original. This is just a modified version of PS3 Dump Checker. So, so when it pops up here it's going to say, did you read these terms and conditions? We're just going to hit yes really quick. Close out of it. Open it again. It's going to ask if you skip. Did you skip? So you got to read that bottom line every time. But it's just letting you know that uh, it's not 100% validation. It pretty much is, um, but they got to let you know that. That way they're not held liable if you brick your, break your console. So, Okay, so now that this is done, you can hit close. Pull out your flash drive. Plug it back into your console or your PC. So here's our dump. Drag it on over. It's going to take a moment because it is such a big file. You nor people, this will be a lot quicker. Let's see if we get any ROS errors, which generally happens if uh, it's a recently updated console. Generally, you want to update it via the XMB and then also in. Uh, the recovery menu. Dump failed on one of 102 checks. Let's see where we failed. So if you look at the ROS 0 version, it's 4.82 on both because this console has been uh, updated. No matching SKU model. I know what this is. Mm. Whoops. Okay, so if you get this error here, this does not matter. It says it is bad, it doesn't matter. This right here would be if you sent your console into Sony for a bad disk drive. Um, I did not send this one into Sony. This one was actually modded in the past. I literally updated it to 4.82 OFW from uh, custom firmware to do this video. Um, I actually went down to 3.55 and remarried this disk drive in factory service mode, so it is not going to match. When you get a console <coughs> from the factory, that drive was married, the original disk drive was married to your motherboard. If you marry another one, it's not going to match. It's going to think it matches because you've remarried it, but it is not the original. You will get this error. So... I know that I am good here. This is perfectly fine. It doesn't matter. So now back over to the PlayStation 3. Alright, so we are going to load patch via HTTPS.
So if you're wondering what the no FSM stands for, that is factory service mode. That is what we were just talking about with remarrying the disk drive. Because this had a bad disk drive, I have an abundance of parts, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to do a video on factory service mode and get a new disk drive in here. Because that other one, it was there was a lot wrong with it. It was more than just the laser, so... All right, so now we're going to click Flash Memory Patch again. And we're going to apply Loaded Patch. So read this. Are you sure you want to continue? I do want to continue. So while we're waiting on that... Okay, yeah, you can reboot your console, so... Now we need to come back over. See USB drive, 8.71 megabytes out of 247. So I can drop those on the desktop just in case I will ever need them for something. Delete. My mouse has been acting goofy. Double clicks aren't always working. So firmware, custom firmware, 4.82.1. Drop that on over. Now while that's waiting, you can go ahead and create your directory. Unless you uh, kept it from the last one. Then you can just remove the minvercheck PUP file. And it's going a little slow because I'm transferring that file over as we speak. And this drive is really slow. It's an old drive. going to pause this really quick. Alright, so now that this is almost done, we'll unpause it here. I'm trying to shorten my video just by hair, so drop that in there. Drop that in there. We can unplug it. Plug it back into the console and reboot it. yet so it's going to be a moment <laughs> oh no I minimized it okay system update update via storage media hit ok got to agree to everything turn off system automatically after update so now it will copy it over and then it will update. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and pause the video once more just to shorten it up a little bit because uh, it's, it's going to be the same for you as it is for me. So I'll go ahead and close out of this because this program here I only get 15 minutes as it's the demo version um, which is perfectly fine um, as I, I don't need anything super fancy or the full version which is like 40 something dollars. I don't really feel like paying for it when the demo version just does just fine. So I'm going to go ahead, pause the video one more time, and uh, yeah, we'll pick back up here in a moment. So after it loads and copies in, it will install. That's what you're seeing here. So we'll go ahead and pause the video once more until it is done, and then we will pick back up. Alright, so it has now finished. I'll go ahead and launch this again. Power on the PlayStation 3. And now you should be greeted with the Rebug firmware icon. As we are right there. So now the PS3 is completely modded. Um, I do recommend installing Rebug Toolbox. 
Webman's already on here because it's an older firmware. If you have a uh, newer firmware, you want to get want to get the Webman mod. It's like 1.48 or 4.7, I think, is the newest version. Um, and install that, and then it will bring up Webman games for you. But Rebug Toolbox, uh, if you want to go down to a different firmware in the future, you're going to want to enable QA flag. Um, if you're on a lower firmware like me, you can then convert to DEX debugging firmware, which opens up your range for different things on the PlayStation, especially mod menus. That's really the biggest thing that uh, people on debugging firmware like, because a lot of the better mod menus are only for debugging firmware. But that is it. You can now uh, install games. PS3, oh, there's still six on here from when I uh, had it modded previously. So, that is it. That is all you need to do. I will link everything in the description of the video. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just comment below, and I will try to address them as quickly as possible. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one.